Why? Null object. You know in After Effects now, if you haven't thought it by now, 3D layers and cameras can be really kind of a messy, especially when we have a lot of layers. We are trying to track our cameras and when cameras goes upside down, it can get a little weird. Adding all these keyframes up to get a smooth movement, so we need object called Null. A Null object is a theoretical invisible object that we can apply data to well, but first thing first, let's roll the intro. Hey what's up guys I hope you're having a great day welcome back to the brand new exciting video if you are new here this is Divinson here for my channel I make videos here on YouTube about filmmaking and other VFX stuff as well if you're into that stuff consider subscribing and turn on the bell notification icon so you never miss a thing on my channel and today's video I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about null objects null objects are so useful in After Effects and it is a theoretical invisible object so what's the point of a null object if it's invisible and we can see it null objects are great that we can use them for all kind of a different things but if you are new to After Effects or if you haven't used them they might seem a little bit confusing. You might not know why you need them, what they are for, what they can really do. Well, let's dive into Adobe After Effects and go a little deeper. First of all, I'm gonna make a new composition and make it as a 1080p and hit OK. Once done, let's make a new solid. I'm gonna make it white color and then pick this shape tool right here and draw a shape like this. And the anchor point should in the center. So how I'm gonna make it center? Just hit the control key and click twice on this icon right here. So it automatically comes to the center. Once done, I'm gonna duplicate this shape layer by clicking Ctrl D on keyboard. And then I will drag it right over here. So if you wanna change the scale or position of the shapes, you must go to the each shape's transform menu. And it takes lots of time and it's a lot of work. So this is where you need a null object. So instead of changing each shape value, what I'm gonna do, I'll make a null object. Just right click over here, new and null object. Once done, I'm gonna select the both shapes and parent these shapes to the null object with this little pick whip tool just like this and then you can select the null object and if you change the position it's gonna change the both shapes positions and if you change the scale it will change the scale as well so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make a new text layer and then if you change the null scale the text layer won't move but also you can parent this text layer to the null object something like this and now if you change the position and scale it's gonna change the text layer as well so you can parent any layer to the null object okay I'll go a little deeper into the null object okay I'm gonna make a new white solid layer and then we'll make a new shape layer and let's change the anchor point to center to the object and then duplicate three times this shape I'm gonna arrange these three shapes like this and if you want to change the transformation you must change each shapes individually but I'm gonna make the null object right here and parent these three shapes to the null and change the scale and position since the null object is powerful tool and it makes my work easier see you can change values of few shapes at once and then I'm gonna make a new circle shape right here and duplicate three times and arrange shape like this right click and make a new null object and then parent these three shapes to null object. Once done, I'm gonna change the null object's position and scale something like this. And then I'm gonna select one null object and make a position key animation. Once done, I make another animation to other null object as well. So if I play this, it's gonna be like this. So null objects are so useful when you're animating few shapes and few objects at once. And now I'm gonna show you a very useful feature which null objects has. So let's make a new solid layer. I'm gonna select the color and then let's make another solid. Once done, I'm gonna make a shape layer and change the anchor point to the center. And let's say I wanna make this shape to be rolled out in the flow. But if you're trying to rotate this, it's not gonna happen, right? Because it won't align to the ground when it's rolling out. So what I'm gonna do, let's make a null object. And I'm gonna drag it under the box and change the anchor point of null object to this corner and then parent this shape to the null object once done let's make a rotation keyframe to 90 degree on null object okay let's play it 
but if you are going to make another animation to the forward, it won't happen. This shape would not be aligned to the ground. And let's make another null object on top. And now I'm going to split this layer exactly the previous animation endpoint, something like this. Let's do the same process. Bring this under the shape layer. Change the anchor point. And once done, I'm going to parent previous null object to this null object, something like this. And then I'm going to make a rotation animation again on the new null object. And see, now shape completely aligned to the ground. So I'm going to make the next rolling animation. For that, if you try to rotate the same layer, it won't work same as previous one. So I'm going to make a new null object and split over here. And then grab it under the shape and change the anchor point. I will make the rotation key again to 90 degrees. And go for keyframe and parent second null object to this one. And let's play it. Perfect. So when you're trying to make next rolling, you won't be able to make it from the same null object. So let's make another null object and we'll do the same process. Change the anchor point and grab it under the shape. I'm going to make a 90 degree rotation keyframe and parent third null object to neighbor one. And let's play it. it. Looks pretty cool. So then you can make all the keyframes easy ease by hitting F9 key. So, so the null objects are not renderable. It's not visible. Even if you render this clip, you can't see it and it comes very handy. There you go. This is pretty much it guys from today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. If you did, consider subscribing and turn on the bell notification icon. I'm gonna do tutorials here and there. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, links in the description box. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay creative. Peace.